Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play QB Factorium. There is more tutorials. This episode, we are going to look at 10 example. So we're moving into examples? Oh, okay, because previously we had some conveyor belts in tutorial 9. So now we're looking at some examples of the conveyor belts at work. This looks a little like an amusement park though. Anyway, this setup shows how ground-based conveyor belts can be used. Select the exit hopper in the depot and set it to accept iron blocks. Number one here, iron blocks. Oh, self-contained steps in the tutorial so this is just one self-contained system distributors evenly split items from incoming belts to one or more outgoing belts select the exit hopper in the depot two and set it to accept stone blocks number two stone blocks this one Does it automatically distribute? Ooh, okay. The middle, the left, and then the right. The middle, the left, and then the right. Can we zoom in? There's no indicator as to which is the next one though. Conveyor belts can be built in two layers. Use ramps to transport goods between the low and high layers. Select the exit hopper in the depot 3 and set it to accept wooden locks. Wooden locks. Hmm, the cow went by and it didn't get affected by the conveyor belt. Huh, that's a little strange there. Conveyor belts are vital to get your automatic production rolling. Have a look at the setups in this tutorial and click on the objective below to finish. Yay, we're done. So it's gonna just send around here and that's all. And these were delivered over there. Nice ways to introduce the belt to us, but I think there's more, right? Now, let's move on to tutorial 11, belts and logistics. Use conveyor belts in the logistics system. Exactly, there should be more and here it is. We'll use zeppelins to transport the gold blocks. To do so, begin by linking the northern zeppelin station to to the southern one. Wait, hang on. Stockpile 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 then 4 to the depot 5 times 5 which is 6. Then activate conveyor mode on 4 activate conveyor mode on 4 Okay. Make six accept gold block. Oh, okay. You'll be manually moving this, right? We can use the same setup to transport stone blocks in the opposite direction. Create a link from depot 5 times 5 5 to Zeppelin Depot 4, activate conveyor mode. So this one to 4 and activate conveyor mode on 5. Then create a link from 4 to 3 and 3 to stockpile 2. Then make this accept stone block. No, not stone blank, stone block. Ah, 
Ah, so we can have a few resources sharing the same conveyor belt, just like we've seen before how the produced charcoal can also share the same conveyor belt. We'll speed this up until everything reaches their destination. Yep, I think this is enough. Let's leave the island. It's really amazing though. In this tutorial, we really saw how to use the conveyor belts and how to make use of the conveyor belt to distribute items evenly to different outputs or receiving ends of the system. We also learned how to link conveyor belts to the other parts of the logistics system, which includes the zeppelins and probably trains and horse carriages as well. That concludes this episode. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.